thanks to German Knife Shop for sponsoring Everyday Tactical Vids. German-knife-shop.com Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're looking at this, which is the new WowTech A5 flashlight. So this light is going to give you 3,650 lumens, it runs off one of those chunky 26650 batteries. Um, WowTech basically is trying to press into the market more and more and say, hey, we're going to offer budget friendlier versions of other lights that are out there made by other companies. So uh, you're going to not get as many bells and whistles with a WowTech flashlight, uh, but you are going to get a good, solid, budget friendlier light. Um, and, you know, save some money here, save some money there. All of a sudden you've got enough money to buy some other gear that you're looking to get a hold of. So let me give you the rundown on the details here and then we'll take it out into the night and use it. All right. So as you can see here, this is everything you get with the light. So you're going to get a cover for your USB port. You're going to get a lanyard. You're going to get some extra O-rings. So no sheath. Again, saving you a little bit of money there and you probably got a sheath from another flashlight kicking around. Or you can just put this, you know, in a bag or keep it in a drawer somewhere at home, something like that. Let me give you some of the details here. Your LED is an XHP 70 LED. It does have an orange peel reflector. Um, the material that it's made out of is aluminum alloy. You're going to get a Firefly output at 0.3 lumens. That's going to run for 37 days. Then it's going to go up to a low, which is 30 lumens for 46 hours. A medium at 300 lumens for 10.2 hours. High at 1,750 lumens. That's going to run for 8 minutes and then drop down. Uh, to a lower level for 140 minutes. They don't give you the actual number of what it's going to drop down to though. And then you have the turbo, which is 3,650 lumens. That's going to run for three minutes and then it's going to drop down and run at that next level for 130 minutes. It does have a strobe at 2,100 lumens. That's going to run for 180 minutes, as is true for a lot of flashlights that you're going to be looking at today. Impact resistant to 1.5 meters and IPX8 rated. Take a quick look here. There's your orange pill reflector inside. USB port on the back side, so it comes with uh, it does come with a micro USB. I didn't mention that it does come with a micro USB as well. I was already charging this thing up. Um, to turn it on and off, press the button, hold it down. It's going to cycle through your different outputs. When it's totally off, hold it down. It'll come on at your Firefly setting. Double click to turbo. So when the light is on at any setting, double click. It's going to get to the turbo. Double click again. It's going to go to strobe there. So there's a quick look at the light. As you can see, super compact. I mean. 3,650 lumens in a very, very compact flashlight. Give you a look at the battery here. So 500, or sorry, 5,000 milliamp battery, 3.7 volts. That's what the insides look like. So yeah, I mean, very compact, compact little light. I'm not gonna throw a lanyard on here. Some people might, um, but there's some of your details. Let's get a sense of the weight here in ounces. So we're looking at 7.485 ounces that is with a battery and let's change this to grams so 212.2 grams as far as the size of your light so we are looking at just about i would say four and three quarters a little bit less than four and three quarters and i'm guessing about an inch across right yeah a little bit more than an inch across yeah i would say inch and a quarter across the bezel up front all right there's a quick look at the light let's take it out to the night and use this thing Okay, we're outside now. We're gonna show you the power of the WowTech A5, about 35 feet away from the front of my house. Here's the Firefly setting. So the Firefly setting, obviously you can't see anything on the house. Let's go up to the next setting, which is low, and that's 30 lumens. So even at low, you can see, I mean, I'm shining at the front porch here. I can see the entire front porch, no problem with uh, the 30 lumen output. Okay, we're going to go up to the next level. It's medium at 300 lumens. And again, as I shine at the front porch, I can see the, the whole house totally fine now, 300 lumens. Okay, we're going to go up to 1750 here. Obviously great light. Let's go up to the 3650 now. Here's a strobe warning.
quick look at my house now. I'm back at 75 feet. Here's 1750. And then here's 3650. All right, we're gonna give you a quick peek at the bushcraft shelter. This is at 300 lumens. So definitely giving good light just in the area here. Let's go up to the 1750. And then at the 3650. I will tell you at the uh, 300 level, plenty of light to look around here. But if I ran this at 300 and just, you know, had it uh, maybe with like a night eyes, one of the gear ties just like tied to a uh, tied to a branch on a tree, I could light up this whole area totally fine. Okay, we're in my driveway now. We're gonna look at the side yard. The fence is about 50 feet away and then you're gonna see basically the kids play set which is about 150 feet away in the backyard. So here's 0.3 lumens. Go up to 30 here. You can start to make out the fence a little bit. I could see it decently with the human eye. Let's go up to 300. So is 300, I mean, obviously um, closer is gonna be easier, but that fence is totally visible for me, the whole side yard there. You can see the little white kind of peak there back at the uh, the kids play set. Let's go up to the 1750. So there's the 1750. I can see the entire side yard with the fence totally fine and then the play set obviously totally fine as well. Let's go up to that 3650. So I'm holding this about nine feet off the ground you know two or three feet above my head and uh, yeah, I mean, just tons and tons of light. You could you could have a barbecue out here and be cooking and have no problem seeing everything with this amount of light coming out. And all the moths are coming in at me now too. Here it is, zoomed in a little bit. This is at the 3650 still. Let's go back down to the 1750. Here's 1750 shining back at the place at 150 feet away. All right, guys, you've seen it in use. Let's wrap up talking about the WowTac A5 here. Uh, let me give you some summary here. So over 3,000 lumens of output, micro USB rechargeable, runs off a of 26650. Doesn't come with all the bells and whistles as far as a sheath or a charging system, but it does come with the micro USB. It comes with those O-rings. Um, it does come with a lanyard. So some of the basics and of course your instruction manual. Uh, I mean, you saw the, the video, it was quite impressive for where I was standing back across the street, shining the light at my house. It lit the whole thing up. Your price point for this right now is 60 bucks on Amazon. Now compare this to say an Olight that runs a 26650, which would be one of their seekers, and you're looking at about 72 right now on Amazon. Um, of course, there's gonna be sales, and when I get deals from WowTech, I put links in the description section, so check the links down there, because there'll be discount codes or direct links to the best price for this, uh, for this light. I mean, it's a compact little thrower. I mean, again, look at the size of that thing. Or not a thrower, but a compact little uh, floodlight. Very, very small, fits in hand. Uh, this is definitely something you could just throw into a bag or you could throw into a glove box, something like that. For me, I think about this, like I said probably before, as like a home light, an emergency bag light, or a car light. I'm not gonna EDC this thing, um, but even at not the turbo output, output, at some of the lower outputs, you know, set this up, stand it on something, you can light up a room, you can light up an area, take this and mount it on a tree with a night eyes uh, gear tie and you're gonna get light to a large area. So I've been impressed so far. The question always for flashlights for me, uh, once I like the performance, is always about durability. So how long is it gonna last? Can I use it a lot if I drop it? You know, is it going to uh, maintain its function? Right now, I can't speak to that because I've only had it for probably about a month or so, but I'll give you an update if I have any issues on this. Um, I feel like across the board with WowTech lights, people are aware that they are f they're budget-friendlier lights. Um, and so they're not asking for maybe some of the bells and whistles that would come with some other lights. Um, but they're, my experience in talking to people who've had WowTech lights is that they've been happy with them. Um, probably the best known one is the Black, Black Scout Survival um, Tactical Light. 
um, that's been it's been quite popular. So um, if you have experience with WowTac, if you have this light, if you have other lights from them, uh, let's hear that those thoughts in the comments. And um, yeah, I like this thing. I honestly don't know what system it's gonna fit into me for me right now, uh, where I would put it. But um, for a compact light, I mean, the, the thing that jumped out to me the most was standing back away from the house, shining it and being like, I have lit up the entire house, the entire front yard. That really was like a, a whoa moment for me when I saw the, uh, the flood power of this thing. So 60 bucks on Amazon, there's links down below if you're interested in purchasing it. And uh, yeah, thanks as always for checking out the videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.